Hello all, welcome back to the second part of the series. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to control up arrow. That'll maximize this window and if you hit it again, it'll minimize it again or bring it back to where it was. Um, that's a pretty raw explanation, but uh, go ahead and make sure your mesh is selected and we'll tab into edit mode. And I'm just going to right click, uh, alt right click, excuse me, and select that loop right there. Shift S to bring up our cursor snapping selections and we'll snap the cursor to that selection. And then from the side I'm going to um, hit A to deselect those space bar to add a circle but first we need to count how many edges we've got or vertexes so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine if I counted correctly one two let me make sure I can see them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a circle. Nine vertices. Uh, radius, we'll make it uh, 0.3. And just hit OK. And there we go. 0.3 was pretty good measurement. So let's go ahead and grab and move that. I'm going to pull it back a little bit. And let's go to the front. And let's pull it out on X right about there. Let's actually, let's just move it up a little bit, and I'm going to scale it down on Z just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to extrude it, only edges, E, and we'll take it in about here. Extrude it again. Scale it down. G to grab and move. Okay. E, only edges. Scale it up. Put it, push it up a little bit, maybe scale it up a little bit more. E, S. Now from here on, actually let's grab move and pull it up. And I want to extrude it out, but this time I'm just going to scale it down on the Z axis. Let's grab move that. And what I did there is I basically just flattened it a little bit for the uh, hand whenever we do the hand. This looks horrible. We're like, ah, what's going on with that? So let's just alt right mouse button on that. Let's actually take it up here a little bit more. And let's add another loop right here. I undo that. Add another loop, but pull it in a little bit and scale it down. Not there. Grab move. Okay. Let's grab this loop and rotate it. Scale that up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so that's just the basics of our arm mass right there. Um, let's go ahead and start working the arm flow a little bit. Um, to do that, I'm going to. I want to weld those two. Alt M at. Whoops, not first. Undo that. We want to weld it last. There we go. It's going to pull them up this way. But it's not going to do it yet, obviously, because it's just not set up right for it. So um, let's weld all those out. Let's go to edges. Alt M at center. And let's take them out. There we go. Very very raw. Okay. Let's go back to the f yeah, let's go back to the front. Kind of play with these a little bit. So I'm trying to get this to flow that direction. So I'm going to add another division right here. But I don't want it to follow through, so we're just going to go to the edges right here and there, W, subdivide, and let's go back to faces, Alt J, we'll make that a face, and this one, Alt J, we'll make that a face. And that basically uh, causes the flow to curl up into the arm there, um, over the bicep, as opposed to under the bicep. And I'm actually going to start kind of roughing out the basic shape of this a little bit better. Let's 
and we don't have the geometry needed just yet to really get it going. It's going to be your bicep. Bicept. <laughs> okay. Let's rotate around under it a little bit. <clears throat> Let's kind of do the same thing at the back. Let's look at that. Control 1. Grab and move that, take it in. I want these to start flowing down into the back a little bit here. Let's look at that from the front, make sure I know which one I've got. Okay. I'm using the screen space to adjust this, which basically treats your screen as a 2D view. And I'm actually um, not sure if I might want to weld those out or not. because the way it's flowing is uh, not quite right. Tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these faces, that one specifically. And let's go to edges. And basically I'm going to start getting that collarbone in place, so I'm going to shift D, copy that, and then I'm going to select those and create a face. We've got a division there. Vertices. Take this one to that one. Alt M at last. Let's grab and move that. Wrap it around a little bit. Add another division. Alt M at last. There we go. <coughs> And what I don't want to end up right here with is a uh, triangle or anything like that. So I'm going to subdivide that one. Let's create a face out of that. Alt-J. And let's subdivide that one. Grab the vertex and just pull it in. Let's grab all those vertices and make a face. There we go. that at last at last and I'm doing this so that we can improve the flow a little bit by seeing a more uh, realistic uh, model As, and when I mean model I mean um, a more realistic uh, representation of it if that makes any sense to you I don't know <clears throat> it's going to collapse those. Well, at center. Because you can't collapse that. Collapse, remove zero. Say, so just to prove it. At center. Okay. We've got that one just hanging around. That's okay. I'm actually going to bring that into the... I'm not sure I might want to wrap it under the breasts. Let's get rid of this face. And let's divide this face. And we'll divide that. And we'll do a quad and a quad right here. E to extrude that vertex. Let's pull it in a little bit. 
and we'll make a face out of this face and we'll do the same thing back here and whoops undo that there we go and one more here there we go and this could basically start help forming our rib cage a little bit better okay once we start as we start rolling on with this it gets a little bit more difficult uh, to say we're just gonna work on the arm or we're just gonna work on this because I'm um, quite apparently it all kind of flows together so that's kind of like the back muscle right there okay <clears throat> so we can weld those now. I want to take that back in because that's supposed to be my armpit. And this area right here is actually the area I wanted to wrap up around here. So let's collapse those at center. Let's pull that over. Because that's the one I want to come up across the shoulder here. So we'll just collapse those as well. and collapse this one just to start off kind of clean the front pull that down okay interrupted by the phone let's look at that again okay I'm gonna go to edges let's rotate this one there we go not quite not quite right. We'll simplify this a little bit more. Center. We'll leave it like that. We'll leave that triangle right there. Let's get rid of this face. F. There we go. Alt J. Make that a face. There we go. That gets the flow going back in there. See what happens if I add a loop here. Okay, so let's go to vertices. Alt M at center. We're going to do a lot of tweaking on this. Let's collapse that at center and create a face right here and let's merge those faces to create a quad let's go to the front pull that in get a little bit better flow happening on these a little bit and just just adjusting them and will probably be uh, messing this up just a little bit because I can't really can't really see too well um, inside what's going on so and I don't really like that too much right there it's because the flow is kind of going the wrong way subdivide those let's go to the front S, whoops, scale it on X down to zero. Let's pull that out here and let's kind of fix that up a little bit. 